At 11, major changes are coming to one of Atlanta's busiest pedestrian intersections. New designs were just released of 10th Street and Monroe Drive in Midtown. That's a main entryway to the Beltline. CBS 46's Patrick Quinn joins us live in Atlanta. And Patrick, this comes six years after a teenager was struck and killed while riding her bike exactly where you're standing. And there is now a ghost bike sitting in the honor and memory of Alex Hyman, who was killed. She was just 14 years old when she was crossing this intersection. And many people for years have been calling it for it to change, to become a little bit safer. And those who have been yelling the loudest is her dad, Thomas Hyman. We actually sat down with him at this corner tonight. He's heavy hearted, but hopeful. It's never over losing losing anyone but specifically losing my little girl is not something that i just wake up one day and i'm okay from it's been six years six years ago thomas Heinemann's daughter alex was hit by a car here riding her bike at the corner of 10th and monroe now change is coming to make this corner safer this is a massive undertaking should it have taken six years absolutely not do i have every right to be angry about it absolutely but i know the people involved this month, the city is bidding out this project to developers. I'm excited about the plan. Councilmember Alex Wan shared initial designs in a recent community newsletter. I think there's better protection for uh, pedestrians. I think there is a, a really clearly delineated path for bicycles so that you're um, reducing the confusion in that area. Um, I'm just, I just want to get the work underway. The design shows a raised intersection, an extended bike lane, and colored conflict areas. I think that's what's most needed for this intersection. Everyone needs to be slowed down a bit and better organized. Rebecca so, Serna with Propel ATL said she'd like to see improved signal timing and a pedestrian scramble, allowing people outside of cars to cross from any corner at a designated time. For Thomas, it's too late for his daughter, but others' lives can still be saved. I like the idea of it being a promise to all of the, all of the students going to Midtown High right now. We lost one of your fellow students in this intersection, but we're doing something about it. And back here live, if you're riding or walking on the Beltline, Thomas said, feel free to take a break and take a seat on that blue rock. Think about Alex. If you're wondering why it's blue, that was the color of her hair at the time. Now, this is just the first phase in a total redesign of Monroe. There will be three phases to this. They expect it to be completed by 2025. In Midtown, Patrick Quinn, CBS 46 News.